Hi, my name's Dan Keane from Spitfire Audio. Today I've got a walkthrough of our new Originals Jangle Box piano, which is a Challen upright recorded in Studio 2 of Abbey Road. So this piano has been used for decades, in fact it's been heard on records by The Zombies, Pink Floyd and The Beatles, famously on The Magical Mystery Tour and The White Album. Now this piano is affectionately known as Jangle Box because of its brass tipped felt strips, this layer between the hammers and the strings, and it sounds like this. Sounds particularly nice in the upper registers. But because it has this layer that can be removed, it also has a really soft, mellow sound. So it's really two pianos in one, which makes it quite a versatile instrument. So if we just have a look through the user interface here, we've got three different microphone signals. And while we're in mellow mode, we've got these ribbons, which are the Coles 4038 microphones placed close in front of the piano. And if I just turn these down, this is what that sounds like. So you get that beautiful up close, slightly darker sound from the ribbons. Then we've got a pair of room microphones, these are omni condensers, and this really helps to capture the sound of Studio 2. And then finally, we've got the vintage signal, which is the original 1960s equipment. It's a vintage and very rare AKG D19 microphone, which is mono, but has a beautifully warm sound to it. And this would have been the microphone that was used at the time, recorded through a Valve J37 tape machine. We've got a reverb control here, which is a custom EMT Abbey Road plate. This is plate A, set with a decay of 2.5 seconds. So when we turn this up, you get quite a nice stereo image. And that is a favorite within Abbey Road engineers. Then we've got a tightness here. So if we want to get a little bit more kind of bite, we can turn this up and it cuts slightly further into the samples. But if you keep this nice and low, you pick up some of the kind of more realistic sound of your finger hitting the keys. Next, we've got hammer controls. These are the release triggers. So when you release the note, you hear the hammers coming back down. And then finally we've got pedal noises. Now up here we've got three main controls. We've got our expression, so this is the volume of the instrument, and then we have a dynamics fader. Now you wouldn't typically use a mod wheel to control the dynamics of a piano, but this helps to restrain the dynamic range. So as we put this further up, we get more of the high velocity samples without actually having to hit the notes harder. Now this piano was recorded with eight dynamic layers, so you can really hear that as you cycle through. And then finally, we've got our button in the middle here, which controls any one of the parameters, also controllable by MIDI CC as well. So if we jump over now into tack mode, as you can see, we've got some presets here. So I'm gonna start with close tacks. <laughs> And for this close microphone, we're using a pair of vintage U67 microphones. Now, while we're in tack mode, you can see that we don't have any reverb, but we've got maximum hammers and pedal noises. So it's a very intimate and up close sound. In the clean tax preset, we've got a little bit more of the room signal and some of the reverb as well. and none of the hammers and pedals, so it's a very clean sound. Moving on to balance tacks, this is a fuller sound, and you can really hear the sound of Studio 2. And finally, in vintage tacks mode, this is really what the 60s would have sounded like for this piano.
just taking you through the last two presets here, we've got Mellow Without Tax. So lots of the reverb there and a subtle amount of the hammers and pedal noises. And then finally, we've got the Vintage Without Tax, which again is just using the vintage signal, but has some of that iconic reverb. Now this shares a similar sound world and the same recording environment as the Mrs. Mills piano. I guess the key difference here is that not only do you get two pianos in one, you get the kind of the tack mode and then without that slightly more mellow sound, but also this was recorded in standardized tuning. So you don't get the chorus effect that you get with the Mrs. Mills piano. I hope you've enjoyed this short walkthrough and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.